ओके सो इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ सर्टेन सम इन्वेस्टेड एट फोर परसेंट पर एन एम कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली सो दिस इज हाफ ईयरली क्वेश्चन सो दैट मेक्स इट टाइप टू इट अमाउंट टू रुपीज सेवन एट जीरो थ्री सो सेवन एट जीरो थ्री इज द अमाउंट दैट यू आर गेटिंग आफ्टर दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस एंड द एंटायर प्रोसेस एक्चुअली इज दैट ऑफ वन ईयर सो इट इज बींग कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली सो वेन आई से हाफ ईयरली You should remember that for half yearly process, we divide the rate by two. So if rate is given, you divide it by two, and you multiply the time into two, right? So you are multiplying the time by two, and you are dividing the rate by two, right? Why we are multiplying it over here by two is because one year has two half years, that is two six months processes. right so that is why we are multiplying it over here by 2 and why are we dividing it by 2 the rate of interest because rate of interest is given to us as pa so this per annum over here is being compounded for one year so for half years two half years we are going to make it half as well right and similarly one more thing that you must remember is that for a quarterly process in a year we have four quarters each of 3 months right this is also one thing that you must remember so for quarterly we are doing the same process but instead of divided by 2 you are going to divide the rate by 4 so all in all rate is getting divisible and rate is actually being divided by 4 similarly for time period you are going to multiply it by 4 right same thing instead of 2 over here you are using 4 and the concept is same that one year has four quarters that's it this is the concept behind it all right so in the given question we have been given that rate of interest is 4% per annum right remember that time is given to you as one year and the final amount that has been generated is to be 7803 right so now again we know that we are using it for half yearly process so the new rate becomes the new rate becomes 4 by 2 that is your 2% and again you know that time period is given to you one year so that means time is getting multiplied by 2 and that gives you two half years that is how your time is going to be calculated amount is going to be remain the same which is given to you so now what we'll do is we'll use this 2% for these two half years so again as we had done in a, in a previous question that we are going to use effective percentage formula so effective percentage for two years with this 2% rate is going to be how much a plus b plus ab by 100 here a and b both are 2 so 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 by 100 right so this is going to come out to be 4.04% so this is your effective percentage or the effective rate of interest that is taking place we already know that amount is being used as this particular formula that is principal plus interest right this is one known thing that we know we already know that this pre principal value is going to be 100% as we have done in the percentage method and we have been using it in the various questions as well and this interest that you have found over here is going to be 4.04% so that makes your amount that is a as summation of 100 plus 4.04 and that would come out to be 104.04% right so this is one new concept that we are introducing over here we had already done that the rate of interest for one year that you calculate becomes your r percentage of p right and if let's say this is given to you as 5% so you know that 5% value is giving you certain interest so you have to calculate it for 100% which would give you the principal value now for the amount value what you are doing is you are adding up these percentage values right so here in this particular example that i am considering you add 105 so that you get 105% so in the question that we are dealing with over here right now what you have done is you have added the 100% value of principal and you have added 
4.04 percentage value of interest so if you add them up you're going to get 104.04 right so this is one new concept that you must learn try to know that what exactly i'm doing over here and then this is going to make your question very easy all right so based out of the given information we know that this amount value is already 7803 so this 104.04 is pertaining to rupees 7803 right we have to find out what is the sum invested so for that what we have to find out is the 100 percent value so we have to find it for what is going to be value for 100 percent if the value at 104.04 is rupees 7803 so what you're going to do is make a cross multiplication over here and you're going to get your answer as 7803 into 100 right this 7803 value into 100 over 104.04 right so let's try to solve this one so what you're going to do is remove this decimal point and add two zeros in the numerator right this is one thing that you have done try solving it for by cancelling it so since it has last two digits as 0 4 you can cancel it by 4 you're going to get it as 2601 and these things or this particular thing you can cancel by 4 again 25 times 400 and you would see that this 2601 is one third that of 7803 right because 26 into 3 is 78 right so 2601 cancels the 7803 by 3 right so if you solve it you are going to get your answer as 7500 right because 25 times 3 is 75 so 7500 is the answer or the principal value that is the 100 percent value that you had invested initially right so this is the way by which you solve this type of question if you like my lecture please subscribe to my channel you can also provide me feedback in the comment section so that i can make the required changes and improve the quality of videos as well as the content you can also join my facebook group as well as my facebook page uh, where i provide regular updates as well as regular pdfs and test on a regular on a daily basis i have telegram uh, channel as well as telegram group also you can join those also there i provide regular pdfs as well as regular tests the name of facebook and telegram groups and channels is success rbi or success SPI. There's a mobile app also. The name of the app is Infinity. You can join that app, you can download that app, and that will allow you to take quizzes just like you take a quiz in the real scenario when you go and take the examination, the government examinations. So that will help you get, get a better idea and take regular quizzes of phase one for RBI as well as SPI.